Good evening, everyone. In this video tonight, let's do a reading about their thoughts, feelings, and intentions towards you. It can be any person, it can be a parent, it can be a friend, a boyfriend, a girlfriend, anybody. So if you'd like to participate, think of a person and choose a deck. Have you chosen? So let's have a look at our deck number one. What are their thoughts about you? Okay, the thoughts are related with distance and travel. Maybe um, you're not together right now or there's some traveling involved with a book. They might be secretly thinking about you, maybe thinking uh, about coming and surprising you because it's a secret. Or maybe the thinking of coming and delivering you a book or a tarot deck or some sort of item that is rectangular. What are their feelings? Okay, with the feelings, we have a little bit of pain, we have past, and we have very intense emotions. Um, it's as if there is, I would say, um, the karmic bond between you two. There is a um, long time that you haven't seen each other, and there is like a pain related to that. Other meanings can be... Um, for some people, it can be even heart aching when thinking about you, like their whole body is aching. Um, and for some reason, not a surprise, but the cross, maybe the person is Christian or something Christian, very religious. Um, and when they think about you, they think about religion as well. With a tree, we can say that um, the religion um, is related with, their, with your origins, with the ancestry, with the family. Some sort of pain, yeah. I would say like strong pain related to a long time and family. Um, their intentions towards you. We have a dog have a lily, lilies and we have a snake so although both cards are, is a man and a woman may be parents um, it can be that the snake card just talks about uh, seeing a, like meeting you as a family as family meets you know like parents meet that sort of thing intentions meet as a family meets as parents we in one um one option is there is a man that has passed because there's man and stars um it can just add up to the family uh, family relation family situation maybe be visited in the dreams the intention is depending on who this person is So for me, for some reason, I paid attention to the gender rather than the bad meaning of the snake card. But of course, it's possible that um, I'm wrong and there is some 
jealousy, envy, some sort of bad feelings um, in this person's heart. Dog and Lily is though it's very pure. It's very like it's a nice person. So snake can also mean a language and it could be a electronic message of the stars. Maybe they actually have good feelings about you and they want to message you electronically. So this is our reading number one. Let's have a look. Advice for you regarding this person. Tower. Usually means a solitude. Um, like staying away or... Well, in this case... Um, they seem like war cards for me. Now that I added two more cards. The tower seems like a workplace and career. The stock is um, the stock with foxes for me. Like being beautifully dressed and going to the office type of building. Because a fo fox talks about work and um, being like an employee somewhere. That sort of situation. Okay. So this is our reading number one. Let's move on to our reading number two now. Deck number two. Their thoughts. So the thoughts about you are very positive. They might think that you're very beautiful. They might um, see you as a visitor who visiting who's visiting them. They might see you as a female and might see you as very athletic or something special about your parents with these three cards. Something very uplifting and beautiful. What are the feelings towards you? Definitely good feelings, very positive. And um, club of beer and sun. Very strong, even I would say too strong. The beer is, I think, is sort of feeling where they would want to hug you really strong or uh, kind of like own you and protect you and you know almost like eat you that sort of strength and it's undoubtful strength very big energy and there's zero doubts this energy so there is maybe the sense of possessiveness and seeing you as someone who belongs to them. Okay, so let's have a look in the future. What is this person's intentions towards your life? We have a snake, we have a tower, we have crossroads. What an interesting because they're so possessive and think so well of you. But in the future, there is it seems like they're thinking about separation. Um, because the snake can be some gossip or some jealousy, envy, something like that. Now with the tower, it's becoming single or distancing themselves, becoming quiet. And the crossroads is going the separate ways. So this is um, intentions, but it still can be still in their mind. They're not 
haven't done it yet. And what is the advice for you regarding that person? This is the ring, the heart, anchor. It's interesting, but it tells you to love the person uh, very strongly and steadily and um, um, like be very sure and, and be very faithful and things like that. So yeah, this was our reading number two. Let's move on to our reading number three. Your thoughts about you. We have a male person, we have a house, we have a rider again. The thoughts about you can be also someone who comes over to their house, someone who calls or messages or just physically comes over. To their house so you are the one who is visiting their house sometimes can be that the house represents a website or a blog and it can be that if it's online that for example they think that you're visiting their blog or website or something like that and it's male uh, energy male cars so they might and even the house is kind of like male energy so they might think of you as a male person or very strong male energy. What are the feelings towards you? We have a fox. Um, I think there is um, like work relationship more. They might see as an older person, more experienced, superior somehow. Uh, like a, there's superiority. With the lilies is respect and with the beer is superiority in age and position maybe. Maybe a richer person, a better person, stronger person, that sort of thing. With a fox can be, um, they might see you as a bit, Maybe they're a bit on guard when it comes to you. Maybe they don't trust you 100%. Maybe they think it's just you are for money or some use or you want to use them somehow. And it's not really the um, real relationship. It's more um, work or like respect to elders type of thing. Now let's have a look at their intentions. Have the snake. Their intentions is to look around. I feel like they want to. They like people. They like meeting people. They like uh, finding out new things, new opportunities, and they might um, look for, you know, new crowds, new crowd. You know where they can hang out with something like they're open for experience It can also be that they might spread rumors among other people about you. You know, it might be that they will kind of take the rumors and they will spread it uh, here and there, uh, everywhere, basically. It can be something, you know, like gossip. Okay, so let's have a look. What is the advice for you regarding this person? The child, the heart, the clever, only love. And basically, you should look at them as someone very either immature or very sensitive, very 
uh, easily hurt, uh, maybe naive, like they don't know better, that sort of thing. And like they don't mean anything bad, but they may be immature or young or just like that. And, and the only feelings, uh, behavior that you should have a, towards them is simply love and joy and respect and basically look at them a bit with humor, not really seriously. So this was our reading number three, the Normand reading. Please let me know in the comments if you would like other readings. I might not be able to do them very often, but I'll try. Thank you for watching. Good night.